Hello students, welcome back. We're going to continue today today with lipids part two, lipids part two. And uh, on last time we talked about the molecules that we discussed in the context of lipids. Uh, we discussed, uh, and the lipid associated molecules include the fatty acids, glycerol, uh, like uh, disoglycerol, trisoglycerols, phospholipids, sphingolipids, waxes, terpenes, and steroids. And so last time we talked about fatty acids. We drew the structure of fatty acids. And on today's lecture, we're going to discuss a shorthand way of writing uh, any molecules, but especially fatty acids. And so let's start there. Okay. Uh, let's let's go back and draw a very simple fatty acid. Let's draw uh, lauric acid. It's a 12 carbon fatty acid. So I'm going to put here CH2. Oops, nope. Hope you see erase that. I'm going to put my I'm going to actually put my carbonyl on the left side. So we're going to have C. So we'll put our carboxylic acid group here. So that's carbon 1. This would be carbon 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. And I'm going to draw my bonds here. Okay, this is a review here because we've already drawn this one. This is a 12 carbon fatty acid. And so uh, this fatty acid, we can give it a we can give it a simple number name. The simple number name for this fatty acid would just be fatty acid 12 zero and 12 because there are 12 carbons zero because there are zero double zero double bonds uh, the complex number name would be the same uh, this this has a systematic name and the systematic name of this one would be uh, if there were just 10 yes bless you if there were just 10 carbons we would call this decanoic decanoic acid if there were 10 carbons but how many carbons does this fatty acid have it has 12 so we can't call it decanoic acid what would we call it since there are 12 we would call it dodecanoic acid because do means two dodecanoic acid that's the systematic name of this fatty acid and it has a common name so these fatty acids have several names and the common name of this one would be lauric lauric acid oh I'm sorry that's the simple I call that the simple number name so S is for simple that's the simple number name fatty acid 12 0 12 carbons 0 double bonds now because this fatty acid is filled every carbon is filled with hydrogens we say that this fatty acid is saturated because every carbon is saturated every carbon here is saturated with hydrogen. So we call this a saturated fatty acid. If there are double bonds, then there would be room for more hydrogen, so we would call that what would we call that fatty acid? An unsaturated fatty acid. Which one is good for you to eat? Saturated or unsaturated? Unsaturated because remember if saturated ones are straight and they stick together. And so that's how and they make solids. So if you look at a piece of bacon, the places where it's white those are saturated fatty acids stuck together. But when you heat up the bacon, you know, it liquefies. And then it goes into your stomach. It's still a liquid. It goes into your intestines. It's still a liquid. But when it gets into your bloodstream, it becomes a solid again. And then when it gets to your coronary arteries, 
it blocks them and that causes coronary heart disease so that's not good you want you want the fatty acids to be satu unsaturated because then they'll have a bend in them and that way they can't pack together very closely does that concept make sense excellent no unsaturated is when there's a double bond double and I'll show you that in just a second but now the, the purpose of this the purpose of this lecture is to show you a shorthand way of writing uh, chemical compounds, and so you don't have to show every carbon and every hydrogen. Okay, and so if I were to draw a line segment here, if I drew a line segment here, remember in remember in uh, fourth grade I think you drew line segments. There's a line segment. This would represent the endpoints of the line segment represent carbon, so this would be a carbon bonded to a carbon. And the hydrogens, all of the hydrogens here are implied. They're implied. So if this carbon is bonded to one other carbon, this first carbon is bonded to the second carbon, how many hydrogens can this, uh, can this first carbon have on, on it? Three. And so those are implied. You don't have to write the carbons. All you have to do is write a line segment. The endpoints of every line segment represents a carbon. So if I wanted to draw dodecanoic acid, I would draw I would draw this. So I could I could I could put here this carbon. And so that's carbon one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And that would be dodecanoic acid or lauric acid. Every endpoint, every endpoint or every vertex represents a carbon with implied hydrogens. And as you can see, uh, the shorthand way is much simpler, much simpler. Make sense? Additionally, we could do something else. This first carbon here, we don't even have to draw it. We could just we could just write. So we could put our a simpler way would be to put our O here, and then this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and this would be my double bond O. And that's dodecanoic acid. That's lauric acid. Again, a much simpler way of representing our fatty acids. Because you're going to have to draw a lot of fatty acids, so it's good to have this shorthand way uh, understood now. Make sense? Okay. Let us draw our next. So now that we have, now that we know how we know how to draw our fatty acids, I'm going to make a. We're going to. I'm going to draw all the fatty acids that you need to know for your test. And all of the fatty acids, well, there are lots and lots of fatty acids, but I only want you to know about, I think eight of them would be enough. Eight of them would be enough. I wish I had my notes, because I had them drawn just the way I wanted you to know them. But, don't have them. So, let's learn the ones I need you to know. And so, this first one is lauric acid. Lauric acid. And that's 12. Okay. And so, let's, let's do the saturated ones first. Okay. And what we're going to have here, uh, we're going to put C's for the number of carbons. I'm going to put a line here. And then we'll have the simple number name. Since these are going to be all the saturated ones, we don't need, we don't need a complex number name. But I'll put here, I'll put complex, <laughs> complex number name we won't need that uh, and we'll actually put its entire structure and we'll put the structure of this fatty acid and we'll give ourselves a little room for that one well it'll be easy to draw and we'll need the systematic name the systematic name and we'll need the common name. I wish someone had their book. That would be so much easier for me. 
Now I just have to remember these. Okay. I don't think I remember them. But I'll try. Okay. Let's draw the first fatty acid that you'll need to know has 12 carbons. It has 12 carbons. So its simple number name is going to be 12 colon 0. Its complex number name, it doesn't have one. It's still 12 colon 0 because there are no double bonds. Now the structure of this one, we've just drawn it. So this here, H, O, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Its systematic name, since it has 12 carbon, is do-decanoic acid. And its common name is lauric acid. That's the fatty acid. So that's the first. There are eight fatty acid structures that you just have to know. Eight of them that you just have to know, unfortunately. The next one is going to have 14 carbons. And its simple number name is 14, 0. Its complex is still 14, 0. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay. Now, can anyone figure out the name of this one? If there were 10 carbons, it would be decanoic acid, but it has 14 carbons. Can anyone figure out what this one would be? Exactly, tetradecanoic acid. Tetradecanoic acid. Does that make sense? And its common name is myristic acid. See this is where this is where my confusion. I think that's myristic acid. But I could just look at when I when I when I actually produce the video, any mistakes that I made I'll fix them. But I think that's right. Okay. Okay, let's go to the next one. How many carbons do you think the next one is going to have? Sixteen, exactly. So let's go with 16. It's going to have 16 carbons. Simple number is going to be 16, 0 because it's going to be unsaturated. Complex is still going to be 16, 0. Okay. H, O, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Yes. Anybody have any idea of what we would give this, what the systematic name would be for this one? Hexadecanoic acid. Exactly. Exactly. You all are really good at this. You all must have already learned about fatty acids somewhere. Hexadecanoic acid. Okay. And it's It's this fatty acid is found is found in palm oil. It's found in palm oil, and that makes it. And it's, it's, there are a lot of these saturated fatty acids in palm oil, and it makes palm oil very. Even though it comes from a plant, it makes palm oil very bad for you. And so we call this fatty acid. Anybody have any idea? There's no way you would know. Palmitic acid. Palmitic acid. Palmitic acid. And there's only one other unsaturated fatty acid that I need you to know. How many carbons do you think it's going to have? 18, exactly. That sounds like a good number to me. So we're going to put 18. It's going to be 18, 0, 
18, 0 is a complex number. So that's going to be HO. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. You see how drawing the shorthand makes it a lot easier to draw? You don't have to worry about carbons and hydrogens. Okay. Um, what kind of systematic name is this one going to have? Octadecanoic acid. Octadecanoic acid. And the, the common name is going to be, this is where stearic acid. I don't remember those common names too well, but I think that's right. I think it's stearic acid. And those are the saturated fatty acids that I need you to know. Everybody okay with those? Excellent, excellent. So now, let's, there are four of those. Okay, I'm going to have to look up. Okay, let's let's go to these. Let's go to the saturated ones, I tell you. So I'm gonna just erase some things. I want to use the same chart. I'm just gonna erase all of this and use the same chart. Right, these are going to be unsaturated ones. So those were the saturated. They have no. What makes them? What makes them saturated? All the possible hydrogens. So what do they not have? They don't have any double bonds exactly. So these are going to have double bonds in these. Okay. I think it would have been faster if I just redrew this because this is taking forever to erase. Because I'm trying not to erase the line over there that's taking a lot of time okay let's see if I can remember these okay okay again if these are wrong I am going to I know. okay I'll do it this way it'll make it easier I'm just going to look here. Got to make sure I get this first one right. No, I think I remember. Let's see. Uh, the first one is palmitic. And the second one is, okay, the first saturated one is going to be palmitol lake. I think it's 16, 1, delta 9. That's what I want. Uh oh, it doesn't want to. Palmitol lake. There we are. Yes, perfect. Okay, let's go back. Okay, so the first one here is going to have 16 carbons, and its simple, its simple number is going to be 16, 1, because it has one double bond. It's going to have one double bond, yes. But its complex number is going to be 16 colon 1 superscript delta 9. Delta 9. Because that means that the double bond is at carbon number 9. The one double bond is at carbon number 9. That's all it means. Now if we draw the structure, you may want to look at me draw it first. Okay, I'm going to draw it here. I'm going to make this a different color. So I'm going to put H. Oh, that's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Uh, I want to change that. Has anybody, I told you all, yes, I said don't draw for yet. So good. hope no one did. Because I want that going down. That's 1, one 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 
Okay, I hope no I drew that because it's sealed the wrong way. I don't know what happened. Okay, here we go. Where did I put it? H O one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Okay, I'm gonna put my double bond right here. And so that double bond puts a bend. It's a cis double bond, so it puts a bend there, and that's what I want you to see. And so the systematic name for this one, it's not an alkane anymore. If you if you put a double bond in an alkane, you convert it into what? An alkene. An alkene. So so we can't call this a heca a hexadecanoic acid. We call it a hexa deck in so it's in oic acid and since the double bond is at carbon number 9 we call it 9 hexa deck in oic acid that's the systematic name oh yes 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 that's a double bond over there. And so the common name for this one is going to be not palmitic acid, but palmitoleic acid. Palmitoleic acid. 16, 1 delta 9. Now, if this was a trans double bond, it would still be straight. But you don't want trans fatty acids because trans fatty acids are bad for you. Remember from test one? Trans fatty acids are bad. And we know the reasons why. Okay? Let us do another one. Okay? The next one is going to be 18 carbons. It's going to be an 18. One. It's going to be eighteen. One. The complex delta nine. So that means it has eighteen carbons with one double bond. Delta nine means that that double bond is at carbon number nine. The Greek letter delta is like our D, and so they're saying that the double bond is at carbon nine, and so that's why I use delta because it's like the Greek letter D. Make sense? Okay. So let's draw this one. Okay, we'll have here H O. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No. That's seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. And that is the fatty acid. Anybody have any idea what we could call this one? 9 octadecenoic acid. Decenoic acid. 9 octadecenoic acid. I've got to put acid up here. And the common name for this one, I do remember them, oleic acid. Oleic acid. Okay, let's go ahead and get the others. The next one is going to be 18, but it's going to be 18, 2. What does 18-2 mean? There are two double bonds. Okay, and so this is going to be 18-2. It's going to be delta 9 and 12. Delta 9 and 12. Okay. 
There's one more I need you to if there, are, there are eight of them that I need you to know. There are nine I need you to know. I'm sorry. Okay. And let's put this one here. It's going to be, oops, I keep forgetting this right here. So H-O, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Double bind. A lot of times they'll draw these like this just to save room. Make those bins really big. Okay, can anyone name this one? Wow. Who's going to impress us all? You started right, but then you, you, you missed. Almost, almost. It's it's nine, twelve, octa, deca, die in, die in oic acid. Nine, twelve, octa, deca, die in. So it, that means the two double bonds, oic acid. And the common name for this one is going to be linoleic acid. Do you think linoleic acid is good for you or bad for you? extremely good for you extremely good for you because it's a polyunsaturated fatty acid it has those two double bonds that will never stick together very would never stick together it has a very very low melting point or freezing point you have to get very cold to freeze that hmm, there are two more there are two more that I need to go over with you, but if you all don't don't mind, can I save those two for next time? Wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> Any questions? Any questions? Things make sense? There are nine of them that you have to know. Okay. Well, you all have a great day. Have a great day.